Hello friends, welcome to our website automationcommunity.com. Today we are going to start a new series on Software Factory IO. So this is the Software Factory IO which is a kind of 3D virtual lab where you can create any project and you can practice that. We are going to start this new course and you can see there are already lot of inbuilt scenes and this is how it looks like. This is the complete 3D virtual laboratory where you can practice a lot of things and it, it seems like you are working with the real stuff okay so this kind of software it is but if you want to do this automation project with plc ladder logic then we will require a hardware plc or there is other option also which is we are going to use in this series so that is you can see over here siemens s7 plc sim so right we are going to use Siemens PLC sim simulator and this is just a simulator to write the program we need Siemens TIA portal so in today's video I am going to show you how I get these softwares that is the Siemens softwares and in the next video I will show you how I got this factory IO software so let us begin our today's session that is how I installed this Siemens TIA portal and Siemens PLC sim software so friends I have opened my chrome and here I will write Siemens industry online support let's enter so the first website that you see over here that is the official website let us click over here so you can see now the website has loaded so let me click on the login button because I have already created my account this is how the login page looks like here we have to enter our email address i will write my password on the login button so you can see i am successfully logged in now we have to click on the download button so download page will open from here we have to filter our results so from here product tree we have to click over here automation technology then automation systems in this we will select this first option industrial automation system symmetric and here we have to click on this list software for symmetric controller so here we have to click on this list software for symmetric controller and here you can see step 7 TIA portal so again enlarge this list and I have used this professional so you can also click over here step 7 professional here we have to search for the trial version so here you can see symmetric step 7 and plc sim v18 trial version similarly there will be all trial versions for v17 v16 okay so i have used v15 version so we can enlarge this list so here you can see symmetric step 7 and win cc v15.1 trial download so let us click over it so this web page will open i can directly download by scrolling down and here you can see this is the setup one for step 7 basic professional and all so you have to download this all the files okay one two three four and five this all five files you have to download okay so just by clicking over it you can see the download has started but as I already downloaded it, so I will cancel this. In the same way, you have to download all these five files. After that, we can go to our folder where we have downloaded it and we can simply click on the start application. Okay, this start button. Then this installation procedure will start. Because I have already installed it and it is very long and time taking process. So now I will show you the screenshots of my installation procedure which is as follows. So how that will look like. So that I am going to show you from screenshots. So first of all this dialog box will open which will ask you to restart your computer. So you have to click on the yes and your computer will restart uh, important thing i want to tell you this before downloading the software you must check your pc requirements or the software requirements i suggest you should minimum have 8 gb of ram 
because these are very high softwares so after you click on the yes your computer will restart and again you have to click on this same start file okay that i have shown you earlier so when next time you click on the start file start application in this way a dialog box will open and initialization will be written after that such interface will open so here first of all there is the language selection so by default it will be english only okay and uh, you have to click on the next button when you click on the next this kind of interface will open again here we have to keep english only and click on the next button so here there is the important thing it is asking for how much because this is the complete package of different softwares okay scada plc and etc so it is asking for the three versions you want minimum installation or user defined installation and by default it is typical installation and here you can see the memory usage so sometimes to reduce the memory if you go for minimal installation or user defined installation then there will be one problem you won't be able to do simulation in plc sim because the software downloaded will not have version 4.0 or higher cpu versions so plc sim will not work so i suggest you only download this typical select this typical and then click on the next button don't do any changes over here so when you click on this next button this box will open so here you have to click on this check boxes okay that you agree the terms and conditions and again click on the next button so this screen will open again here you have to check this check box that is you are accepting the terms and conditions again and click on the next button so here it is uh, just giving you overview and uh, you have to click on the install button and then you can see installation will be started and this installation can take up to 30 minutes because i have downloaded and it takes a very long time so when this progress is completed uh, you will see interface like this and here it will be written like setup has successfully completed and again it will ask for restarting so what you have to do you have to click on this checkbox no i will restart my computer later because we have to install the sim ekb software and install the keys from it so that we can use it for lifetime so just click on the this checkbox no i will restart my computer later and exit the software so now what you have to do again go to the folder where you have downloaded the softwares and uh, you have to open this sim ekb install so whenever you click on this you can see such interface will open so as soon as the software opens you have to first click on this required keys okay after this click on this select button when you click on this this all are get selected so first step go to here required keys second step click on this checkbox select all and then you have to click over here install long and after clicking it you can see such dialog box will open because i have already installed it so it is asking for overwrite in your case it will be first time so it will be done and in my case it is already installed so it is asking for overwrite what i will do i will just click on all so all the keys will be overwrite okay so this is just a three step first click on required keys then check this select all checkbox click on the install long and then click over here yes or all and then your keys will be installed now you can restart your computer after restarting the computer we will install our plc sim so after restarting we will open this plc sim folder and here the process is same again we will click on the start application okay when you will click over here such interface will open okay again the process is same you have to select language click next again uh, there will be language again click next and here you again you have to select typical only click next and then click on this checkbox and click next again here you have to click the checkbox for security and permissions and click next so now you can click on install button and you can see installation progress is started when this installation will be completed it will show a message like this again it will ask for restarting so this time you can click on restart button because now 
you don't need to install any keys so click on the restart button and your computer will be restarted and when you will restart your computer this you can see the icons this will be come on your desktop by default only so you can see all these softwares are installed okay so in this way you can install Siemens PLC TIA portal and Siemens PLC sim software also now quickly we will see how to use this softwares so first of all I am clicking on the TIA portal it is starting okay you can see it is loading because these are the very large softwares so it may take some time to load softwares so what we will do we will click on this create new project so today I am going to show you how to use both these softwares so first of all you have to select your location of your file and here I am writing you can write your name of your project okay and uh, click on the create button so such dialog box will open so first these are the different steps so we will go from here configure device this is the first step so click on it now we have to click on add new device because we are doing it for first name so here you can see this is plc hmi and this is a scada system you can do any programming from the single software only now here you can see these are the different models of plc so let us select this s7 1200 model and cpus so you can see these are the different versions i mean different kind of plc models actual real models okay uh, we can also click from here only whenever you click on any cpu its detail will be open here where you can see inputs and outputs of this cpu okay so based on this you can decide which model you have to use based on your inputs and outputs the important thing here is whenever you select your hardware here you can see version it should be greater than 4.0 only because if the version is less than 4.0 you won't be able to do plc sim simulations okay so you can select any cpu model based on your input and output requirements and just select the version whatever the highest version is there and then double click over it so this will be added to our project it's still taking some time okay so we can skip to this main part so because this model has six digital inputs and four digital outputs so it only has starting address from zero so in the Siemens what is the input and output addresses like 0 0.0 0 0.1 0 0.2 in this way there is the addresses and because it has two analog inputs so that analog input address will start from 64 and 67 so it is not necessary that uh, in all the models it has the same addresses so whenever you select any cpu model in the device overview you can see the input address and output address so that address only you can use in the programming so i will open my plc sim from here and here click on the start button that is the power on button our simulator has started click on this cpu so you can see this download sign is now enabled otherwise if you have clicked somewhere else you can't see the download button so click on the cpu and click on the download button okay so now we can click on the load file so it is loading into our simulator and click on the finish so now when i click on the go online now you will be thinking without doing programming i am downloading it but this is very essential step because uh, assume you have written all of your code but now you are facing the problem in doing this simulation means you can't even interconnect your plc software with simulator so that will be problem so always first do the connection with your simulator or hardware so now when i click on go online you can see first orange light and then green lights so you can see green lights means my plc is connected to my plc simulator okay so again i am going offline now i am assured that my connection with simulator is done so now you can click on program blocks 
and click on the main OB. So let me write a simple code over here. So click over here. Okay, so select this and simply insert whatever you have to insert from here. So let us insert a no block from here. Okay, so it is inserted and let us give its address I 0, 0.0 and press enter button. This the software is little bit lagging. Uh, now uh, we have to insert output coil. So so first we have to select the portion and then we have to insert and uh, we have to write its address q 0.0 enter so i have written a simple code now i have to download this code to my simulator so click over here download button uh, click on the load file and finish so now my programming is downloaded to simulator so now click on the go online so here we can see green lights so my simulator has connected and we have to click on this monitor button monitoring on here you can see uh, in the plc also we have to right now you can see this is the stop so first i have to run this so click on this run so you can see this is the online mode but uh, right now you won't be able to change it from here Okay, it is not changing so for that doing the simulations uh, click on this expand file okay so this window will expand and we have to create our tag table over there from which we can modify this network so this plc sim will maximize like this so first of all i have to create project over here also so click on the project file and uh, click on new button you can write any name of your project file and give the suitable location and click on create button so you can see it will make a file with extension dot sim 15 means simulation file or you can see we have to click on the sim tables that is simulation tables so here it is getting interface as i told you earlier these are the very large softwares so every time there is the loading now we have to click on the sim tables and uh, i will just click on sim table one and here i will write the here you can write name also anything like start and give its address like i 0, 0.0 we have only one input so we can modify it from here so let us click over here minimize this this is our input and we can modify it from here so you can see if i click over here okay so from here i can modify my inputs like i can on off my button i 0, 0.0 from this plc stream okay so in this way you can do simulations you can also check the output from here also that is let us maximize this and here i will write q 0, 0.0 so you can see my input is off so my output is also off when i on my input output is automatically on okay i didn't check it okay if i turn off this output is turned off so in this way you can monitor your input and outputs from this plc sim table and you can check your network status like this you can minimize this and you can on off your inputs from here and you can see our input is on so our output is also on so in this way you can use tia portal and plc sim software i hope that you have find this video useful or learned something new if you want to learn more things like this show your interest by liking and subscribing our youtube channel meet you in the next video where i will show how i installed factory io software and how we can integrate both these softwares. So meet you in the next video.